Connecting people, building communities, helping clients to build multi-generational wealth through real estate. Today, we have the privilege of having Balbina Dabrowski with us. She's the founder, the owner of Life Made Easy. We see that a lot of people are spending a lot of money to paint a home and it looks beautiful, is the color they want. And at the same time, every year or two, the walls needs to be cleaned. And you have a choice of really repaint everything or if you have already chosen a great product to start with for painting, that could be very easily cleaned. What would be your recommendation to clean walls and saving a lot of money and um, having a, a clean, spotless wall around the house? What would be your recommendation? Well, I think you touched on it really well in the beginning that it's, first of all, important to have a good quality paint because um, if you don't have good quality paint, you know, any kind of moisture on the walls will show when you're trying to do a uh, spot wiping which is really what we recommend. It's very simple. Again, you can use a very light vinegar and water solution on walls with a damp cloth. Just maintain any sort of spot cleaning on the walls that you need to do, and that will do the trick for you right away. Um, but again, it really is important that you have a, a good quality paint that can sustain that type of you know um, washing of the walls. Uh, and it's just, again, important. Once you see something, a mark on the wall, get to it as quick as you can. Often the water and very light vinegar solution will just get it off and do the trick. If you've got white walls and it's a little bit of a harder to, you know, remove stains, then we love uh, to recommend, we don't use them ourselves, but we do love to recommend the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. They are actually quite magical, I must say. But again, those are really great for white walls, um, which many of us have, and they do remove the harder to uh you have like a really greasy stain it really depends on what you bought on there but um yeah those are some really easy tips and again it's about handling that stain as quickly as you can as quickly as it comes to light and not leaving and letting it set for too long thank you they're very valuable information i love actually to clean my walls you know i i personally spend a lot of money in painting my home i like the color and i just don't want to again have a a chaotic space by bringing a painter and I would love actually to clean my walls uh, every quarter or so and in the areas that are most used. Thank you. That's a great input. So, Balbina, uh, we um, have homes that are plenty of windows and windows are a very difficult job for some people to clean inside and out and especially when there are big picture windows. How do you clean a window? What products do you use for doors and windows that could be different than products you use for, um, you know, cleaning the interior house? Is that different or is it the same thing? Would you use again the vinegar or is there a specific product for that? Uh, vinegar is really good. Um, also, hot water with a little bit of uh, dish soap in it goes a really long way. Basically, when you look at window cleaner, if you were to look at the ingredients of Windex, a really popular uh, a cleaning product, yes, it's blue, um, but it's mainly water. Of all the cleaning products, window cleaner is mainly water. So what really matters when you're cleaning a window is also the tools that you use to clean it. So having the right microfiber cloth that really doesn't leave streaks behind, that is key. Um, really, there's no awesome, uh, there is an awesome solution to window cleaning. Like I said, hot water with just like a dollop of dish soap, just a one little squirt of dish soap, and then really having the right cloth to, um, you know, to wipe that down with is what the most important thing is. Uh, when the windows get really high, a squeegee is really important as well. Having a really good squeegee is a great way to just remove the streaks. Um, and, uh, that's really, there's no big mystery to it. It's just having the right tools to get it done so that you don't leave those streaks behind. Thank you. That's a great input. Balbina, um, you covered a lot of things, a lot of useful tips that any homeowners can use to keep the, or you know, maintain their home and enjoy every day in the spotless uh, home they live in. Is there anything that you'd like to share that I missed to ask? Um, no, I mean, I think it's just really important, again, to focus on the upkeep of your home. So really don't let things get too far behind. That's the number one key. 
The second thing is to have a strategy. So either have a consistent cleaning company or a service that comes to your home at a time that you figured works for you. Mitra, you mentioned once a month is perfect for you. Uh, for a family with lots of kids in the house, they might want to have a better uh, system that works a little bit more frequently. Um, but just knowing what your plan is. And if you're going to be doing the cleaning yourself, then make sure that you also have a game plan and a strategy of how you're going to do that cleaning so it doesn't become something that you dread and it actually becomes something that you look forward to that provides some cleanliness and some peace in your home because really at the end of the day when everything is clean organized there's no chaos going on in your house and then that translates to how you feel in your mind and your body so having a system of cleaning whether you do it yourself or whether you hire somebody is just really important and does has benefits outside of just looking nice. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Albina, two areas that I like to cover. If, for example, you work with a realtor in um, simply helping mutual clients to clean the home, do you have a package that you offer uh, when is an ongoing uh, business coming a discount? on the use of your services. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, we definitely give special realtor pricing. Um, it really depends on exactly what the service is that's needed. Sometimes realtors just need a hand with staging. And so it's more of a surface clean uh, to make things look nice for their showing. Sometimes realtors need uh, you know, a really deep clean for when they're doing a key handover and really want that clean uh, to be spotless. Um, and then also based on volume, we have some realtors that we work with and they give us a lot of business. So obviously we're able to give them a, a, a larger discount. Um, but we love being the go-to for our realtor partners. The whole point is that we have enough teams so that if anything does happen, it's not like, oh, your cleaner can't make it today because we know, especially when it comes to realtors and their cleaning, it's time sensitive. You need a showing, you have a cleaning that is for a showing that's today. We can't miss that cleaning. You're moving out we can't miss that cleaning so again just by having the amount of teams that we have in field we're always able to cover in an emergency and in a last minute situation um so yeah definitely give us a call and we'll help you know strategize and create a plan custom for our realtor partners we do realize that they're a little bit different than our regular uh customer and that they need a little bit more attention and we do understand that you're focused on the bottom line and we do want to get you the best price that you can to help maximize your profits as well that's beautiful. So, Balbina, if we have clients uh, in our circle and they completely um, are excited to use your services on an ongoing basis, they can simply use our code, our name, and then they would have a special discount that you can offer to them because they have been coming through us. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. We can definitely make that happen. And um, again, it's Every clean is customized to the to the needs of our client. So once they give us a call and explain what it is, then we can work out some pricing, uh, applying a discount, of course, um, and you know making sure that everyone's satisfied and we and we work something out that works for everybody. Beautiful, Balbina. Thank you so much for your time today. Is there anything else you want to say and how we can help your business to grow? Um, and you have done an amazing job starting from Vancouver, BC, and now you are in Toronto in 13 locations. And what's next um, for you and how we can help you in your growth? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just continue to use our, use our services. Tell your clients about us. Your clients will be very happy to see, um, you know, your realtors are using a top-notch service and really spending the time and extra care for them when choosing the cleaning company that they're working with. Uh, word of mouth goes a long way. So just, you know, if you're happy with our service, we would appreciate letting everyone know, um, you know, and uh, we're confident that that will help us grow in that way. And, just, you know, getting the opportunity to get our name out there and to meet with you and the team is, is great enough. Thank you. Balbina, I can tell you that every time that I'm receiving your emails, I am very excited. I love your branding. I love the way that you are bringing the eco-friendly um, aspect into your business and uh, at the same time expanding your business to every home in different parts of the uh, country. Amazing job and look forward to having um, a collaboration year after year and making you grow and also helping our clients to enjoy what you do. Thank you for your time.
Connecting people, building communities, helping clients to build multi-generational wealth through real estate.